Hello Year 5 and welcome back to your final maths meeting session of the week. For this session you're going to need something to write with and something to write on. Make sure you have both of these things and then come back and join us. We're going to start with the days in the month chant. I'm going to read the chant out and then you can pause and you can read it. 30 days have September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31 except February alone which has but 28 days clear and 29 in each leap year. Now it's your turn. Press pause now and then press play. Using the chant, we need to answer the following questions. There are something days in August. There are something days in April and May combined. Think about what the word combined is asking you to do. There are something days left in this month. Press pause now. Use the chant to work out your answers and then press play once you are ready. Brilliant, there are 31 days in August. There are 61 days in April and May combined. You would have needed to find out how many days there are in April, which is 30, how many days there are in May, which is 31, and you would have needed to add the two numbers together, which gives you 61. And there are four days left in this month. Well done. We're on to shapes with Shan now. This is our 3D shape. You need to fill in the blanks. This is a something. It has something edges and something vertices. Remember, an edge is the place where two faces meet. And a vertex is the corner of the shape. How many edges and how many vertices does the shape have and what is this shape? Press pause now to work out your answers and then press play once you are ready. Well done, this is a square based pyramid. It has eight edges and it has five vertices. We're on to Efficient Addison. Our question is 1,589 subtract 399. We need to use the most efficient method to find the answer. Press pause now to work out your answer using the most efficient method and then press play once you are ready. Well done, you're working so hard. For this question, the most efficient method would be a number line. I would need to take 400 away from 1,589. The reason I would take 400 away is to round the number 399 to make it more simple. I would then need to add one back. One thousand five hundred and eighty nine subtract three hundred and ninety nine would give me one thousand one hundred and ninety. Well done if you got the answer correct. We're going to have one more go because that one was a little bit tricky. Your question is eighteen thousand five hundred and eighty nine subtract one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Press pause now to work out the answer and then press play once you are ready.
Brilliant. Again, I would need to use a number line. I would take 2,000 away from 18,589. And then I would add one back. My answer would be 16,590. We're sticking with efficient Addison, but we're thinking of a different kind of question. My question is 15 times three times two. We need to think about which numbers would be the most efficient to multiply by. Press pause now to work out your answer and then press play once you are ready. Well done. First, I would multiply 15 by 3, which would give me 45. I would then multiply my answer by 2. 45 multiplied by 2, which gives me 90. I would leave this last because then it makes it easy as I can just double my answer. You could have also multiplied 15 by 2 and then multiplied the answer by 3. On to four more Phyllis now. Your question is 6,495. Add 834. Press pause now to work out the answer using column addition and then press play once you are ready. Great work. I would need to set out my answer like this with the largest number at the top and the smaller number at the bottom. I need to make sure that my digits are correctly aligned. I would start on the right hand side. Five add four would give me nine. And then I would move on to 90 plus 30, which gives me 120. I would write down my 10 and I would need to carry my 100. I'm then going to add 400 and 800, which gives me 1,300. I would write down my 100 and carry over my 1,000. Six at zero would give me zero, but I know that I need to carry over the one and add that onto my six, which will give me 7,000. My answer would be 7,329. Well done, year five. You done absolutely amazing with that maths meeting. Remember that these maths meetings will be online. And if you need to revise or practice anything that you found tricky, you can always go back and have a look.